But this morning's exercise is for all the pregnant moms out there. We got quite a few emails and Facebook messages from moms saying, please do yoga and exercises for us. So we are getting together and we got our bellies on and Sai is going to show us what we or moms out there moms should be doing. There. Let's go do it. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Diesel. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Okay, welcome everybody. Um, I hope everyone's, everyone's fine. Um, we should have got you a belly. Um, I'm already surprised that my wife, apparently, since last <laughs> week is uh, almost four months pregnant. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're going to start. Just to remind you from last week, um, the three golden rules of any kind of yoga practice while you're pregnant. Uh, the first thing is always you're going to breathe into your belly. So every inhale, every exhale going to the baby. The second thing, it may sound obvious, you're never going to squeeze into the baby. So any posture that feels like it's going to compress into the abdominal area, you're going to avoid. And the last thing, most importantly, if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. If it does feel right, go ahead. OK? So to begin with, we're simply going to take feet as wide as your baby. So, <laughs> so however you feel that your baby is wide, slightly turned out. And we're literally going to check in on the baby. So place your hands and kind of just gently cradling the baby. And with your eyes closed, just simply take a big inhale and kind of just gently pulling baby into your palms. And as you exhale, drawing baby back into your spine. And again, so long. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Everything feels fine? Everything we're good to begin. Fine. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Everyone fine? <laughs> so today we're going to focus on predominantly during pregnancy. It's typically the hamstrings the lower spine and the lungs that tend to be stressed. So we're going to open up the lungs, work predominantly on the lower spine and the hamstrings for both of us. We're going to modify a sun salutation, which probably all of you have heard of at some point. And during pregnancy, it's very simple modifications. You can do these two or three repetitions and it'll keep you very healthy and strong and really prepare you for the birth, okay? So to begin with, we're just simply going to take a big inhale. So and as we inhale, we're going to open the palms so the chest opens, so immediately here. And as you inhale, just lengthening up towards the ceiling and looking up. So from here, I want to relax my shoulders, straighten the legs, and importantly, this little arch, tuck the tailbone so it flattens out the arch. So basically decompressing the spine. Take a breath here, and again, as you inhale, the belly, as you exhale, drawing baby back into the body. So inhale, lengthening up, exhale, drawing baby in, good. To come forward, inhale, lengthen up, and exhale, literally coming all the way forward. Bring the weight forward into the balls of the feet. I can't even go that far. <laughs> Great. So what are you going to do is you're going to bend your knees a little mm -hmm. bit. Fantastic. And literally, let the head go. Relax. That's it. And allow baby to hang. Okay. So literally it's allow baby to hang. It's not bad for the baby. <laughs> How's the baby? No, you are showing also. Absolutely fine for the baby. Absolutely mm -hmm. fine. You can check your guy and all these inversions, completely fine, completely safe. And if anything, it just takes the pressure off your spine for a few breaths. So, and in this position, again, just breathe. So, inhaling and exhaling. Relax, relax there. Get I'm used to the pregnancy. <laughs> From this position, we're going to flatten out the spine. So, on an inhale, place the hands onto the knees. And what we're focusing on is getting the spine flat, the back of the neck flat. You're drawing your shoulders back into the body and at the same time, lengthening through the spine. And again, on the inhale, allowing the belly to fall. On the exhale, drawing belly in and take another deep breath. So inhale and exhale. So if moms can't get all the way down, they can just do It's like just this. literally squatting, hands wherever you need mm. to be, belly comfortably, wide as you need to be, mm. as narrow as you need to be. It just needs to feel good and it needs to feel comfortable. For the floor, we're just gonna simply place the hands on the floor, walk the knees back. Your hands are gonna come directly underneath your shoulders. The knees are gonna come directly underneath the hips, okay? We're gonna flatten the spine, so again, just Drawing in gently, rolling the shoulders back. On the inhale, you allow baby to fall, inhale. On the exhale, drawing baby in. And again, it's just releasing the spine and the hips. You're maintaining a long, even deep breath the whole way through, okay? From here, for a downward dog, we're gonna tuck the toes under, shift the weight back so the bum goes back a little bit, and then push up, and then let the head go. So at this point, if you can get the leg straight, you can. Otherwise, bend the knees a little bit. You want the weight back in the heels, straightening the arms, relaxing the head, rolling the shoulders open, and allowing baby to hang. And this is good for baby? Very good for baby. Baby it's, loves it. It's just kind of, 
you, you know, you're in a, it's effectively in pregnancy, you're in a bag of water for the baby. So it's just being rolled around, which is mm. great, okay? Taking a few breaths here. So allow baby to hang, straightening the backs of the legs, releasing the spine, working a bit of strength into the shoulders, okay? To come forward, gently walk the feet forward, left hand behind, left foot behind, left hand, right foot behind there. And again, just let the body weight go. So bend the knees if you need to. And again, it's just allowing everything to hang, stretching into the hamstrings, releasing the lower spine predominantly as well, and maintaining the breath, okay? To come up, gently bend the knees, inhale, coming up, the palms open, and expanding into the lungs, reaching up, big breath, and hold it here, okay? See? Mm -hmm. Opens everything up, opens up the lungs, touching the tailbone, keeping the legs straight, and breathing, inhale, baby, baby moves away from the spine, exhale, drawing the baby back in, and then gently, Exhale, coming all the way down, okay? You would repeat that maybe three, four times. And you can do this on a daily basis, once or twice a day. And it just literally, all those important areas, it keeps them open, keeps them strength, prepares you for the big day, okay? The one last thing we're gonna do is on the floor. And it's a combination of, you know how they say swimming is great for, for pregnancy, okay? Mm -hmm. And the breasts are in particular. So the legs, roughly at about 90 degrees, okay? Starting from here, so immediately I'm getting a stretch into the backs of the legs, takes the pressure off my spine, okay, and the spine naturally flattens. So from here, take an inhale, hands here. As I exhale, I come all the way forward, all the way forward, let the head go, and literally allow the body weight to come forward. As far as you can As go. far as you can, so you're opening the hips. On the inhale, take the arms wide, come up to sitting, inhale, 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 hands onto the kidneys, so it opens the entire body up. Exhale, so it's that swimming action. Inhale, open the body up, and exhale all the way down, and you do four or five of those. You don't even have to be pregnant to do these exercises. Completely not, no, you know. I mean, yeah, no, very relaxing. Mm. Everyone good? Yes, thank Enjoy. you so much. Thanks and I hope the moms us. out there enjoyed it as well. Let us know if you do it. Joining us in on the exercises, Expresso Morning Show, SABC3. So I will be back again next Wednesday. Have you got an idea what you're going to do next Wednesday? Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm sure we'll come up with something. If there's anything you want to decide to do or focus on particularly, let us know as well. And tomorrow morning, quarter past six, Ivor Wright is with us and he's going to be doing some cardio workouts. So Tune in again tomorrow, quarter past six. Now it's time to go over to Ewan.